Hello guys, in this video we'll see step by step how to create a Pareto curve that will add up to 100% and how to count how many states, because we are using states here in this example, how many states are responsible for 80% of the total. In this example we're going to use the same data set that we have used in the last videos. So I'm going to bring here the state column and the value, which is the planted area, sum of value. Let me just format this number. And we can bring the percentage of each one of them. So let's divide it by the total. To start this exercise, we need to understand how the above function works and how the range sum can be used in this sense. And for that, I need to show a behavior here. So I will sort the table by the value, as you can see. And now we're going to use the above function with this column, the percentage. So I have duplicated it. And now, using the above function, we'll see that the sorting gets messed up, but we have the above function bringing us the result from the cell above. We now need to sort it manually, bringing the state to the first layer of the hierarchy and sort it manually, according to the sum of value. Let me just rename this column. I will duplicate it again and show you here that we can use the second parameter to bring the results in the same row. So with the value zero, you can see that now we have the same value in here and there's a reason for that. We'll now use the range sum to start accumulating the values one by one. So the 21 will be added to 13 and then the result will be added to 11. Then the result will be added to 11 again and so on. I will rename this column with the range sum just to keep track of what we're doing. Here in the expression, I'm going to do range sum. And if I hit apply, nothing will happen because we need to add a third parameter to the above function. Now, after the zero, I will add the number three just to show you what's going to happen. Okay, so adding the three here. Notice that here we have the sum of these three first values and then here we have the sum of these three last values. Here in the fifth row we have the sum of the other three last values and so on. Now let's replace the three with the row number function with the total operator. And with that we'll have the accumulated column. And now we have 21 plus 13 equals to 34 plus 11 equals to 45, plus 11, 56, and so on. Let's now use this expression in a combo chart. So I will add here the state, the planet area value, and I will copy this expression and add it here in the height of line. But remember that we need to sort the dimension by the value. So let's go back here, sort it using the expression descending order. We can give it a name, so I will call it Pareto curve. You can call it whatever you want. Let's format this to be a percentage. And the rest is just customization. Notice that it's starting here in the 20%, but we can change this in the Y axis to start in zero. And now I will leave the rest of the customization to you. Now we're going to use a condition with the agar function to see how many states add up to 80%. Notice that we have one, two, three, seven states, and we'll bring this value in a KPI. I will copy this expression again. And in this measure, first using the agar function, we will create a virtual table with our main expression and the state column, but this column needs to be sorted with the value. So we need to add parentheses and add here a new parameter, which is the sum of value in descending order. This will sort our state column according to this measure. Now using our main expression, we will create a condition. So if this value here is less than 80%, bring me one. Otherwise, bring me zero. And now we will count how many ones we have by summing the entire column. 
So we hit apply. And there we go, we have seven. So basically what we are doing here is creating a new column in this table. And if it's less than 80%, it will bring us one. And then we'll sum the ones. In this case, we'll have ones until this row. And adding them will give us the seven. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you in the next video.